so you can see some similarities here 90 degrees anti-clockwise will take you to west the same 270 clockwise also take you to west so that means they all mean the same thing 90 anti-clockwise the same as 270 clockwise in the same vein 90 clockwise the same as 270 anti-clockwise when it comes to 180 you will say that is 180 in the clockwise direction that is also 180 anti-clockwise but they all get to south so it doesn't matter whether you go clockwise or anti-clockwise so the first thing to do is draw or trace this on a tracing paper okay now you put your pen or pencil on the center because that's the center of rotation and keep on rotating this 90 degrees but the question is when do i know where to stop like what we said before 90 degrees clockwise is from north to east so you rotate onto the north part of the shape faces what east that's the meaning of what i did before you're going to keep moving onto this north part faces what east so you put your pencil down that's it you got it now north is now facing east you've done any degrees clockwise so we just have to draw it take the pressing paper off and draw it so that's going to be our b so this is only to help as a guide to know when to stop let's look at example two 90 degrees anti-clockwise around the center one three so that's the center tracing paper trace it now 90 degrees anti-clockwise 90 degrees anti-clockwise this way the north should now be facing what west so keep turning onto the north side is facing west Then you label it. Okay, so we talk about 90 degrees clockwise, 90 degrees anticlockwise. Let's look at 180 degrees. 